Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started with season 25. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna rebirth our hero, which basically just means that we are taking the same character's name. Uh, but starting right off, create a character. What you're gonna do is go right into the adventure mode and we're gonna be actually doing this on expert. So what we're gonna do is the challenge rift first. Um, right after we make our character, we'll just enter the game, make sure we get our seasonal character uh, created. And then what we're gonna do is next up, we are going to then do the challenge rift. That's gonna give us a bunch of materials. Uh, and this is gonna be a full guide one through 70. I'm just gonna just record the whole thing. Um, so next, what we wanna do for our characters, make sure you create a seasonal character. When you do create a character, it'll say like seasonal. You definitely want to do that to make sure your character is seasonal make sure there's this little leaf next to it but you can take any other character and convert it to a seasonal character however it'll be level one and it'll put all your gear in a mailbox um, if you want to claim it so now that we've created our character next thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing the challenge rift we're going to go ahead and start a challenge rift over here and uh this is going to give us a bunch of materials to actually craft weapons but uh, what is new this season? Um, so this season there is these legendary soul shards. I'm gonna figure out what this build is first. I actually have no idea. It looks like it's a LOD build, so everything does damage. Uh, let's see what other multipliers we have. Um, what the heck is this? Okay, uh, very strange build, but I'm just gonna push all the buttons and we'll see which one is actually like. Usually I like to read all of these, but because it's a LOD, we can probably get away with running whatever. So with this, pop your bone armor. Oh, is it an army of the uh, dead or? Siphon, corpse explosion. So on our, uh, what's bound to my R key, that's the button that um, we want to keep up 100% of the time. Then I'm guessing we can siphon blood for damage. Okay, since we have Army of the Dead on fast cooldown. In fact, I really feel like the audio levels. Oh, in the Crown Rift, our game is, doesn't get paused. Like the audio might need to be adjusted. But it's fine. It's no big deal. So pretty much we can use whatever ability to do damage, I think. Be totally fine. We'll kill one, then we do a corpse explosion. Probably should pop Army of the Dead on elites. Oh, we got a power shrine. Perfect. Now we'll just one-shot everything. So with this challenge rift, we have to complete it in a set amount of time. Which usually it's not too bad. Especially with the, the channeling pylon, this should be real easy. It's just we have to find elites. What does this one do? Corpse explosions, damage gets increased. Okay. So I guess it's a corpse explosion kind of a build. But the season just started today, to answer your question. If you're watching this on YouTube, we are also live streaming. So I promise I'm not talking to myself. damage let's go nice. now we got this groups of bosses make sure we collect the orbs just like you would normally with any anything and keep in mind you can play any class you don't have to play demon hunter for this playthrough of like a leveling guide so we're gonna go through everything but challenge drift must be done first and depending on when you're watching this video, the challenge rift can change. Basically, you just want to complete it in whatever time frame that you have to. But most of them are like really easy. Occasionally, they do give you a very difficult one. Okay, 
Okay, this will make things much easier as well. Nice corpse explosion right there. Awesome explosions. I think the Enchantress or something has a, like uh, S of Johan, which grabs up all the enemies. It makes it real nice to get uh, big explosions. So we just gotta eliminate all the enemies, make sure this bar goes all the way up. Timer going down is basically how much time we have left to actually complete the uh, rift. It's only a GR50, so. Be too bad. There's just not enough density. Sometimes, though, these rifts don't have the density, and you're forced to just kill smaller things. I'd say it's like medium-ish difficulty. I mean, it gives you a bunch of shrines, but I just feel like in terms of time-wise, the density could have been much better. Oh, there's an enemy right there. So now the boss spawns in. Make sure we stun the boss. Pop the army of the dead and the boss, and they'll melt. And then they'll say, challenge rift complete. We'll just go through here, talk to her, and she'll say, congratulations, you've done it. And then we're gonna leave the game, and then we're gonna go back into our uh, adventure mode. And if you don't have adventure mode unlocked, probably should have mentioned this at the very beginning, but most people know this um, when they're starting a new season. But if you don't have adventure mode unlocked, what you uh, need to do is actually complete the game. Um, you don't have to complete it on that season. Um, just has to be completed at any point in the game. So let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to start this off on Expert, and I'm going to do uh, Zoltan Cool. And the reason why we do Zoltan Cool is because we're going to be doing a uh, boss that can spawn in a chest. But on top of that, it also uh, will have this new Soul Shard mechanic that I will be able to show off. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to Scoundrel. We're going to go to um, Hire Him. We can actually just take his weapon. And now we have his weapon, and you'll see that it, it does a lot more damage than ours. And then we're going to go into... And we could, we could take the Templar. I kind of like having the Templar. Uh, we're going to go to Act 2, Zoltan Cool. And we're just going to go fight him. We're going to do this uh, one time on Expert, then we're just pretty much normal. Uh, the reason why on Expert and the first time is because it's actually pretty easy. You can do it where there's a bounty on it, so you can get technically more stuff, but it's not that big of a deal for me. So just shoot and move. So. Three. Oh, okay, no. We got the drag up lies. So there can be a chest that does spawn in but it didn't spawn it, no big deal. The important thing that we wanted is we want to kill him a couple times to get this. This is a legendary soul shard. Um, it's actually pretty useful, not right now though, because um, we don't have a weapon with a socket. So what we're gonna do is we are actually going to salvage this and it's gonna give us some gems. Oh, it gave us a fl fl roll of topaz. It was actually kind of use, uh, useful uh, for the reduction of resource cost, but we're not gonna be able to use that one in particular. We kind of got, actually got unlucky with that. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is, uh, we can actually do several different things. I wanna see actually what we get. So with the message pending, when we complete the challenge rift, I'm gonna actually move my face out of the way real quick. So um, we're going to claim this and we're going to open up the uh, challenge rift uh, cache, and it's just gonna give us a bunch of materials. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to upgrade the um, the blacksmith over here so we can train him. 
Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to forge specifically a dagger at level 70. Now we're not gonna be able to use this dagger, but what we're gonna do is now take it over to the Kanai's Cube and we're going to what's called Hope of Canis. So we only get one opportunity to do this. So now we're gonna also lower the game's difficulty just to uh, normal. And we're going to go to the Runes of Seshron, which is an Act 3. Now, depending on the class that you play, and I'll also link this in the video, um, you will uh, want to craft something different. You don't always craft the dagger. For the Demon Hunter, you craft the dagger, but um, yeah. Anyways, let's go to Act 3, the Runes of Seshron, and then we're going to go to the Elder Sanctum. This is going to get us what's called the Kanai's Cube that lets us put in these legendary uh, powers. But yeah, let's keep on going. It feels so slow without the movement speed, but eh, that's just Diablo in the very beginning. That's actually all action RPGs. Looking for the Elder Sanctum. And with the Demon Hunter this season, what we get as the uh, set is going to be the Shadow's Mantle, which actually got a nice buff too, so that'll be fun. The Marauder Demon Hunter also got a pretty big buff. Sentry's Fire on their own. Hello, Carbs, how you doing, mate? I'm actually gonna guess that it's gonna be over here. You never know sometimes. It could be off, but I need to go this way so we can maybe kill some stuff on the way too. Don't worry about killing every single thing on screen. Oh, no, it wasn't. Sometimes you skip on that little, little area. And that's where you needed to go. But on average, uh, it should take about, if you're really fast, depending on the class you play, you can get it done in about an hour. But for most people, anywhere from two to three hours, if they're not like really efficient, that's about your average time to hit 70. It, it depends on your luck too. Like with Barbarian, you can get double uh, multipliers which significantly will increase your speed. Uh, we're gonna get, guaranteed we get one uh, multiplier. It's either Fan of Knives, or we get um, Carly's Point. Carly's Point is the one that I actually want, because I like that one. But the Fan of Knives is arguably better, because it, it, it's AoE. But it's kind of the luck of the draw. You have no control over it. Oh, you haven't played this game since season 19. Ah, well, you have some fun stuff to put mess around with. And last season had some new cool things. There's basically just more damage. In this season, there's there's a little bit more, I would say, interesting things. Because depending on what build you play, you may want to run different um, legendary soul shards. Um, I believe the one that I like is called the Essence of Anguish. And what it does is when I kill an enemy, it will explode and do damage based on the amount of damage that I did to kill the enemy. I actually want to kill this guy. Drop anything good, unfortunately. I mean, it's just a normal difficulty. It takes a while to get actual and good stuff. All right, so now we're in the Elder Sanctum, and usually it's uh, up into the like right for where we need to go. Once you're at the Elder Sanctum, but keep in mind like all the maps are kind of random. Well, I like to do this ASAP so we can get out a multiplier. Slow 
down a bit with the Caltrops. But also link Diablo 3 Planner because that's a it's a really good uh, website for resources, but specifically for the Kadala Planner. Because uh, it tells you what items you should gamble for, and we will also be doing that. But usually with Demon Hunter, it's really not that important. There's like the Hellcat Waste Guard. But things like the Barbarian can get a huge, huge bonus. So pretty much we can, we can skip out on this. Here and yep, up into the right. I'll go over here. And King Kanai does this little magic. Click on it, and then we get to go back. I have my thing disabled so they don't actually like have the voice lines, but he'll talk for a little bit. But now we have Kanai's cube. And it is one of the coolest things that Diablo has ever introduced. So we're going to take that dagger, and we're going to actually place it in here. I'm going to move my face out of the way real quick. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go to the recipe page 3, put it in here. And there's the Hope of Cain. And what we're going to do is randomly get something. Oh, we got Carly's Point. This is actually what I do like. So now that we have this, I'm going to go to page 1, put it in here. And I'm going to transmute it. And I'm now going to have the ability to have Carly's Point. Oops. At uh, any point, I'm going to go to this page. So now that this thing has a multiplier of 375, um, the other one is better. It's random what you get, but you either get Fan of Knives or that one. And uh, I like this one, but the other one is arguably better. And now that we've done this, uh, we can actually just keep on doing um, runs of the Zoltan Cool again and again. Um, like I said, if you do get the uh the bounty then the um the chest can pop in but i think there's i don't know if there is just a chest there that can spawn and there are huge nerfs to specifically act th three chests in the game they used to be like a, an end game farm like that's all people would do they would just go to act three and they would just farm chests and they got nerfed and they never got changed but the reason why we're going to be doing this is so we can get the uh, gem. But if I get a, a socket with a helm, um, you know, that's the resource cost reduction can be nice too. But yeah, we'll basically just melt these instantly. When did Kanai's cube get added? You know, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. So we didn't, we didn't get the drop. Okay. So there is a, there is a pretty high chance. Um, I'm not sure if I have to up the difficulty for this. I don't think you do, but for the sake of it, I'm just gonna do it on normal a couple times. And the reason why I'm doing this, now this is only for this season. Normally you just end up doing rifts or do whatever like leveling method that you prefer. Like you can do the um, cleavers in act one, but honestly, I, I don't know anyone that really enjoys doing that because it's very tedious. Um, but it is another form of doing it. But in this season specifically, doing the Zoltan Cool again and again, because he's a boss that will have a relatively high chance to drop the uh, Soul Shard. We got it off the first one. Maybe it's because of the difficulty though. But as far as I'm aware of, that didn't matter. Um, but I don't have like the like source data. It's just kind of what people have been saying. Because you can test it on PTR. Oh, okay. So since it dropped in normal, we got another one. Now we just go leave game. And then we, we do this again and again um, until we specifically get can get a uh, red gem. Now it doesn't have to be the best one. You can actually get several different gems uh, when you salvage it. The reason why is because we don't have a weapon with a socket, nor do we have all the bonuses that we want on the legendary soul shard. Uh, until we upgrade them, which is like kind of newer to the season. That's basically what you are playing the season for. Um, so we got, oh, nice. We got Imperial Ruby. This is actually what I wanted because it's going to significantly increase our damage. You can get random gems. Like we got this one on our first try. This one. At this point, we're A-OK. -okay. 
Uh, and I'm just going to actually leave so I can uh, change the game's difficulty. I'm just gonna put it to at least hard. Um, you could do whatever difficulty you want. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if I can do expert. Um, depending on the clear speed, uh, I may uh, swap it. So now we're just gonna do. Uh, this is what I personally prefer to do. You can do tons of different leveling methods, but this is the one I like. Oh, another thing I'm going to actually show off really quick is um, the Diablo Three Planner uh, Kadala. So I'll link this also. So depending on the class that you play, you would just select a class. Like if you're playing Barbarian, I know uh, this one off the top of my head, you want to click Collapse All. So if you want to know what you should be crafting, depending on what you want to play, and also keep in mind some skills you don't unlock till later, with uh, the Barbarian, you uh, may want certain things. Um, what is it? Uh, is it 200 my weapon? If you want to, you can do Seismic Slam, um, so you can do a uh, two-handed uh, uh, mighty weapon. And if you want to go for that one, you could do that. There's also the Hammer of the Ancients. And with Barbarian, you can now use your Blood Shards if you want to and gamble for uh, a certain item. Now, with Demon Hunter, in terms of like what can you gamble for, because we're going to like do this very soon, um, we can go look at the one-handed crossbows. You can see the level that... It's, it shows to have um, as a chance to drop, but if you're uh, below 16, it can be gambled by any character. So if I really want, let's say, Balefire Caster from Kadala, I would actually, um, like if I really wanted this, I would be at level 31, I would try to go for this. Um, there's also Volus Bequest, this can be kind of like an interesting one, but uh, the thing that I would want is Dawn, and that's not till 61, so there really isn't anything that I would say is really good. I can click on Bows, um, and this could be done if you want to uh, gamble and see if you can get something. Usually what people do is they go for the Bracers, um, and they go for, uh, what is it, Wraps of Clarity, because you have a huge amount of damage reduction, and that could be very powerful, and I, I'm, I am just going to go for it, but there really isn't anything that's like super, super important uh, specifically for like Demon Hunter, but for, depending on your class, that can matter and I'll, I'll, I'll just link um, this website as a resource like uh, for a wizard there are people that will go for one-handed wand and then you can get uh, unstable scepter at uh, a very low level again once you're uh, 16 if, if it's below 16 it can be gambled at any point and then for monk uh, I'm not gonna go over every single one for this video because I don't want to make it longer than necessary but you can get the um, the crudest boots this one is actually pretty nice but yeah uh, that's a great little like resource uh, and website that I like, and like I said, I'll also link it for you guys over in the Twitch chat. How, how, oh, to answer your question, how do you get these? You, to get these gems, you salvage the new, the new soul shards. However, one thing to take note of, it's random on what you get. You may get a couple of certain gems, but I got my rubies, I'm ready to go. Um, I'm going to actually gamble at Kandala, so I'm going to go for Bracers. Okay, so let's see if we can get it. Don't spam it, because once I get it, I don't want to gamble anymore. If I even get it. Wow. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. We're getting really close. Uh, so going back to the D3 planner for Kandala, if I go to Demon Hunter, the next thing I could get is, I think, uh, Hell, Hell, uh, was it Waste Guard? Hellcat Waste Guard is at 15, so I could get those right now, and I'm going to, I have got three chances. Didn't get it. No big deal at all. The next thing I do want to also do uh, for this season, I'm going to go ahead and salvage all these because I don't really need any of these. Unless they had like a socket, which yeah, maybe could have paid more attention to. Uh, we can also throw these in uh, to the. Uh, we can go throw these in. Uh, Cold cane, bam. Oh, you know what? We need one more death breath for this. It's fine. It's not. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, but if you oh, wait, actually with this we can equip it at levels level sixteen. That's fine. Uh, but. What we can also do is craft a level 70. I'm going to do a bow for my character. Um, let's go to bow, and we're going to make a level 70 bow. And you only get a few chances at this, so let's just go ahead and craft one. Let's see what we get. We want chance to have the secondary, to have some sort of uh, crowd control. So fear on hit, freeze, mobile. Uh, you want one of those. And then what we're going to do is roll off. Oh, I got to go ahead and train this one. So now we're going to put uh, this in for the enchant. And uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to transmogrify this so it cannot be... Um, this is actually a really cool cool tip. A shout out to Rax for this tip. He's another Diablo content creator. Um, 
if you transmogrify the item, it cannot be salvaged uh, via like the salvage all. So it's actually a nice little thing that you can do. Or you can just put it in the storage uh, so you don't actually mess up. But I'm going to now try to roll. And I want to roll. Let me move my face out of the way because I know it's blocking it. Um, I'm going to try to roll the secondary. But the, I want it, the secondary to have chance to fear on hit or immobilize or one of those. So I want to have one of these. That way I can have level requirement reduced by whatever the number is. Um, as opposed to changing one of these stats. So we roll up, we roll the secondary. So instead of life for each kill, now my chances are much higher. If I was to roll this, I'd have all of these. But I, what I want is this level reduced. Um, or level requirement reduced by X amount, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do this. It's gonna say it's gonna bind it to our character. We say yes. So let's see what we can get. It's it's random if we get it or not. Um, you only, you get only get so many tries out of this, by the way, and it really sucks if you don't get it because it starts costing more and more uh, gold. Uh, we hopefully should be able to get to it though. Oh, come on. So our chances were basically, we have one, two, three, four, five chances, uh, but it rolls two, so it should be like almost half, but eh, sometimes RNG, man. We're looking for a level reduced by whatever. Oh, come on. Okay, 23 is pretty good. Um, so at level 47, we can use this level 70, and it has a socket. Absolutely amazing. Great season start. I could throw this uh, gem in here as well, and it would help us out. So that was an awesome find. So um, I'm going to throw my cam back on. But keep in mind, your mileage may vary. I got pretty lucky, I'm going to be honest. Um, so level 47. Um, yeah, I, I could roll it a little bit more. I mean, it's it's fine. I mean, I, what I would recommend you to do, by the way, because you can get the level reduced by like uh, like a not good amount. Uh, the, I'm just going to keep on rolling this. The reason why is because the sooner that I can use this max level weapon, the sooner I can literally just blast through the entire game and shred all content. So I'm going to RNG it. And I want, we didn't get any, so 23 is what we're working with. That's fine. That's actually pretty good. Um, it's not always, it's not always that easy. <laughs> so like I said, you can transmogrify it, but to be like, you know, as a, a good uh, tutorial, I'm just saying, just, just keep it in there. So now um, we are on expert. I'm going to try to see if we can do this. Um, once we hit uh, level like 12, we're going to come back into town. We can actually buy gear. In fact, you know, there's, there's this guy over here. The miner, you can sometimes get some stuff from him that can be nice. Um, so uh, I'm just going to buy stuff because we have tons of gold because we did the... Um... Oh, we don't need this. Uh, challenge Rift. Uh, and... No, he didn't have any weapons. There's another uh, vendor, but it's, it's fine. It's no big deal right now, at least. We have our damage multiplier now, too. That's great. I feel like we could do it on hard much faster. It's not like I have to one-shot everything, but unless we're like cleaning up the content, I would say hard is totally fine. But do it on whatever difficulty that you would like to do it on. And pretty much just keep on doing these rifts. Now this may take you a couple hours to get all the way done depending on your character class as well as how lucky you get for these extra bonus legendary drops. But what it comes down to is just killing enemies till this gets to 100%. A boss comes in, you kill the boss, and that's it. And we are right about to hit level 70 over here. Uh, just because I felt like it was unnecessary to show you guys like the hour plus long process that uh, can be involved. But I will also give you guys some tips and I'll show you guys kind of what I used. Um, keep in mind, this is all RNG. Um, depending on the class that you play, certain things can matter a little bit more. But in terms of things that you should be on the lookout for and equip these, even if let's say the item is a legendary, um, now that we've hit level 70, I was using this bow once we hit level 47. Uh, like I showed you guys, when we get the socket in it, we're gonna reduce the level. Um, in addition to that, that was really nice to have. But you want to try to maximize the amount of experience that you are gaining. So if a Leoric Signet drops, this is a ring, it's relatively common. Um, this will grant yourself bonus experience. You also can get Leoric's Crown, which is an easier thing to roll. And uh, basically it comes down to the secondary legendary bonus where it grants you more extra XP uh, based off of whatever gem that you put in. And in our case, it's gonna be Ruby. So if we get extra uh, legendary um, 
items that happen to have sockets and whatever the case may be. I happen to get a Witching Hour once I hit level 68, but nothing too special for this. Ideally, if we got a Carlay's Point, that would significantly increase our speed as it's going to be uh, getting extra bonus damage with Impale. If you guys wanted to see my build, uh, this is what I was using while I was progressing, uh, just so we can uh, do things a little bit faster, as well as getting a little bit more resource with Blood Vengeance. Uh, but you can also run like Night Stalker, and because we happen to have inside of the cube, the Carly's Point, I also added uh, Raps of Clarity in there. That just lets us have the ability to use any uh, main attack, the, our primary skill that generates resource, to give ourselves some extra uh, damage reduction, which I showed you guys with the cube. But pretty much you're just going to keep on doing those rifts until you hit 70. That's the way I like to do it. Depending on your class, you can also maybe even get Silver of Terror from the other bosses. But for the most part, because you cannot upgrade these legendary soul shards yet, um, as these other drops will be uh, allowing you to upgrade them, calling uh, themselves the Hellforge, uh, Hellfire Emerald and that will actually upgrade your soul shards but we'll talk more about that maybe in a later video but in terms of leveling process just keep on doing these you'll hit 70 it's pretty easy to hit but uh, just be on the lookout for Lyric signet as well as Lyric's crown um, as these will help out and if you need more of these gems um, if you get items that have enough sockets put in diamonds inside of your um, uh, and anywhere where you can, as they will be giving you extra resistances. Other than don't put it in your weapon and don't put it in your helm. You want rubies in there because ruby is going to give you massive amounts of extra bonus damage. But yeah, keep playing. You'll hit level 70, and that's going to be pretty much wrapping up the guide here. Um, there are more things that you can do. Like obviously, you can choose the follower, but for the most part, it doesn't really matter that much in the very beginning because you won't happen to meet the threshold requirements to get some of the bonuses. But here's what I like uh, to use for... Uh, this is what I ended up using for my Templar. Nothing too important here. The only thing that I really like with the Templar is the uh, healing that you get with the loyalty at level 10. This one you can just completely drop if you don't want to. Like, don't pick any because some people don't like the CC. Um, but Inspire, I like it because that grants us extra hatred, which basically lets us use our ability that's going to be dealing damage a lot more frequently. But pretty much that's what you're going to be doing and you'll hit level 70. And if you reach there, congratulations. But this is going to wrap it up for the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know down below and I'll try to help you out. But um, right after you hit level 70, the next thing I would really suggest you guys to do is do all of the season journeys. So you can click up over in the top right. There's You can see where it says chapter one. After you keep on completing these, you will also get a reward over in the bottom left. You'll get, be getting a reward and you can open it up and it will grant you some pieces to the Shadow Mantle set, which is actually going to work really well with our Impale because it's going to get us a lot more bonus damage. But that's going to uh, wrap it up for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new here and you want to see more Diablo as well as more uh, gaming content, hit subscribe from the bell and I'll definitely see more very soon. Take care and I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.